All right, Mike, thank you very, very much. Well, Georgia Republican Congressman Buddy Carter was at that briefing. Uh, by the way, the congressman is a pharmacist by training, so we have the perfect guy to talk about all this. Congressman, thank you for taking the time. Thank you. What did you learn today, sir, that either put your mind at ease, got you worried, what? Well, first of all, the, the message was clear, and that is there's no need to panic, and we don't need to do that. We do need to be prepared. There's no question about it. Not only did we learn that today, but when we had the hearing earlier this week with Secretary Azar in the Energy and Commerce Help Subcommittee, he gave us that same message that we need to be prepared. We're doing everything we can to make sure that we are prepared, but there's no need to panic. It was made clear today by Dr. Redfield and by others that the risk of an outbreak here is still low, but we need to be prepared in case it does happen. You know what I get nervous about, sir, though, when, when people keep telling me not to panic, I wasn't going to panic until people kept telling me don't panic, right? And then I get news out of Iran that it's got 143 more cases of those with the infection. South Korea, uh, 571 more. Uh, it's over 2,000 right now. Outbreaks in Africa, Nigeria, of course, the first in the region to declare such cases. Uh, more cases in Australia, New Zealand, Netherlands, Britain. That's when they start freaking out. Yeah, right? And, and that's understandable. That's uh, human nature, I think. But the most important thing to understand is that if we're prepared, we're doing everything that we can, then if there is an outbreak, and, and there are, the numbers are going to grow. There's no question about that. They're, they're growing, and they will grow. But we can prevent a lot of this just by common sense, washing our hands, staying healthy, making sure you're sleeping right, making sure you're eating right, making sure you're practicing good hygiene, making sure that if you are sick, you stay home. It's okay. You can afford to lose a day or two. Don't worry about that. But if you're sick, don't be spreading it. And make sure you're covering your, your mouth and your nose when you uh -huh. cough. All of those things. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Congressman, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Now